guys welcome back today we're going to go over what's kind of happening here in the market lately with this Evergrande and what some of the other youtubers are saying but first let me say that everything I say again in this on these videos are all related because I will reference those vi videos at a later date like uh, the other day when I made that video on, on how I buy these uh, cryptos I give you a I use crypto market cap and I use a three month chart and those are pretty good prices to get into but now with this uh, little cr uh, crash on cryptos it's kind of really good so I'm gonna buy some H bar and hopefully uh, next week I get to buy one more thing before it goes up again I don't care if it goes down because I wanted to get get some of these at a lower price we know that eventually all the cryptos will go, go back up unless this is the, the final crash that these elites are planning to do so everything I say will relate and I'll reference the movie also uh, a little bit later on this uh, video so we kind of expected this Evergrande thing to come up and it did apparently this is a, a big event uh, in China I didn't know that they were the second largest real estate developer. Bearable Bull has covered this story, saying this could be the Black Swan event that we're all waiting for. And I like to look at different sources, different uh, YouTubers, their ideas, and then we develop our own based on what we know about the world. And you too, you could develop your own also because of what you know. We're all probably right in some way, form or another just maybe a little bit different outcome but we're all right that it is gonna go down how it's gonna go down that's everybody anybody's guess so a crypto teacher I like to use him to see what what the elites are doing from his perspective and then bearable bull I like his insights on what he's waiting on but also another guy I like to use is Gregory Manorino he's like the guy for stocks he knows kind of how what's going on in the stock market so I like to see what his insights are if he's saying it's crashing in the stocks then then it's probably true and this is what I'll reference the movie the big short if you haven't seen it yet so Gregory Manorino is like the shorters in that movie he knows how to read charts analyze information and has experience on what to expect for it to go down or up so I watched his video today about this crash and he said that he doesn't believe it's going to go down. He believes it's just this is just like a, sm a minor correction based on the 10 year yields and dollar that he referenced. So how he reminds me that the shorters in the movie is you're relying on information that's been taught to you. But the elites remember they're playing like 3D chess. We have the best guy out there, Gregory Manorino, to look at it. He's like Magnus Carlsen of playing chess. But you got the elites who are playing 3D chess. There's just multiple chess boards and a 3D platform and playing three or six games at a time. That's that's who we're playing against. So our, our best guy is unprepared compared to their guys, right? That's what happened to the guy in the movie. Again, the Batman character. I keep forgetting his name and those other shorters in the movie that they couldn't understand why they kept losing. Because they, all the indicators were there and they were following all this stuff they've learned, but they were still paying to the banks until the last final minute. This is what could be happening with the stocks based on Manorino. So even though he does say that he doesn't expect it to crash, we could still say uh, we're waiting for one more catalyst that these uh, billionaire elites are waiting on that they could crash tether at the same time right now or just go ahead and crash the stock market because all they have to do is to crash the stock market is all the billionaires the a team just sell all the stocks but they're waiting for an event right a, a event like the 9-11 September 11 that's what they were waiting on back in 2001 so they can just pull out any time and cause a stock market crash, but they need a catalyst. So I feel like we're 
were at were there and based on all this all the information in the crypto space about September 27 September 28 and how we're close to that time frame even with XRP line everything seems to be coming up here shortly I'm hoping they are right I'm hoping they are right that something happens between now and the end of September and I like Lauren's comment about what he thought about this uh, SEC settlement because you know why would they settle why don't they just offer a buyback and you know what they could have offered a buyback at a cheaper price than 4000 so why 4000 so I don't know guys it could be that any price below 10 17000 is great for the elites and billionaires any price below that's great for them because of what potentially it can go to 60000 in 10 15 years so they don't mind paying us the, a smaller amount just to get just to get all those XRPs I feel like we're getting close also because of what we said the other day about the 10 and 2 XRPs now needed instead of 20 to open a wallet because like I'm gonna repeat what I said I think it's because there there's two there's a, there's a lot of idle XRPs in wallets that are not going to be used and the elites want these I don't know how many there are you probably to calculate it but there's probably a shitload of XRPs just sitting idle and they want these to be used on their ledger network to move the bank's money and some friends that uh, I talked to said it was they tried to buy XRPs and they couldn't log in in some of the sites and this always happens about this time it feels like to me it feels like the exchanges are somewhat in cahoots with the bankers right now and they know about this buyback so they're they're taking the XRPs and they're selling some I guess but they're taking most of the XRPs to sell back to them I, that's just a guess that's what I would do if I was these uh, exchanges so in summary I I do feel like something is gonna happen like something like we are getting really close and I I don't care if I say this for the next two years but now I feel like it's really close and I really think something is going to happen because of all the things that's happening the wallets going from 20 to 10 and 2 this Evergrande if Tether comes out right now this could be it and with what XRP Lion is saying or has been saying about how much the bankers need these XRPs this year. A lot of people are going to sell 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, 150, 250, all the way up to 1,000. I think most of it will be sold before it even hits then. And then the buyback offer is offered. There's, I just don't see them saying they're gonna do a buyback next week. While the price is still low because everybody would just hold it so it has to be uh, gotta be over a thousand my guess that's what i would do you gotta look at it like psychologically if you ask 10 people would they wait if the price was a dollar or ten dollars would and, and, and the buyback was announced would they wait for the buyback yes i think 10 out of those 10 people, nine probably would. One probably doesn't trust the government. <laughs> so again, that's that's uh, my thoughts this time. Thanks for checking in on here. And a lot of stuff I say is kind of different directions, but I, I tell you, they're all related together because everything always links back, links back to these elites. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.